Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning uh, beautiful Saturday morning and uh, I like to share with you some of the things that a lot of people ask me how to start an IUT business and most of the time they just don't know where to start so I give you a few examples of how we can build an IUT business but before that one of the things which we normally should ask ourselves is uh, before even we start developing any IoT solutions is to identify the business issues uh, once we identify the business issues and the impact is high and you have the the market is also quite big because uh, you want to sustain the business uh, most likely uh, uh, that's the kind of business that you know people are willing to uh, willing to impart their money and to pay for your services uh try it out and see whether you know uh, that's something that will solve the real problem of the the user then uh, then you can start your iot journey so i give you an example where uh, uh smart waste management i have this problem of you know my wife early this morning is trying to ask me to uh, take the garbage out but unfortunately the the garbage truck have already passed and I didn't realize, you know. So, so what happened is that I have to pick up the garbage and put the garbage in. But then I have to wait the the next schedule where the garbage will come and pick it up. So, in the meantime, I will have this garbage in my garbage uh, place for for quite some time so it's a big issue because it will keep on uh, uh, occupying the space and uh, no one is picking up the garbage so it's better if i have the capability to know when exactly the schedule of this particular garbage truck that's coming over to my place actually they have this signboard over uh, at in front of our uh, community gate but no one actually really looks at the schedule and really you know remember when exactly the, the garbage truck will pass by so if you have a solutions that uh, can monitor the garbage truck and uh, or even remind give you a reminder of the garbage truck that will be coming here maybe uh, the moment it arrives within one or Five kilometers away from your area it will send a reminder to your phone that's one thing another thing is that you know uh, we have water which is sometimes quite polluted you know the, the water comes from to the, our house uh, it needs to be filtered out so I do have a, a filter here but I have to do this manually so I have to keep on uh, reminding myself uh, when I should actually uh, filter, clean out the filter, clean out the water for how long? Because otherwise I'll just waste the water, right? So it's going to take some time before the 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 filter really have you know filter out all the the dirts and then go into my house so that is also a troublesome for me so why can't we have a, a sensor uh, that can uh, you know the sensor that can detect the water quality and uh, once it reached to a certain level it will so when it reached to a certain level it would just you know, stop it i mean uh, we switch off uh, cleaning it so these are some of the things which we have to identify the business case uh, understanding whether it really fits uh, solve the, the, the customer issue and uh, people are willing to pay for certain services either you want to buy the whole solution or you just want to subscribe to this particular solution 
So, uh, hi Dr. Dixon, how are you today? Good morning. So, there are some of the things which uh, I would like to share with you, uh, you know, uh, before even you start your IoT journey. Uh, because a lot of people ask me, how can I transform or how can I introduce IoT solutions in their business or even in their homes or anywhere. So, a lot of times we can build a lot of solutions, but people are just not willing to pay. Uh, most likely either it's very costly or maybe the business model is not uh, perfect, at, you know, it's not the best at the moment. Uh, so where are you now, Dr. Dixon? You are, you are now in, uh, in Australia still? What's the time over there? Most likely at 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's what I would like to share with you today. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll give you uh, another uh, tips regarding of how to start uh, putting up your, your defining what kind of sensors that you need to, uh, you know, you need to deploy uh, because most of the time, a lot of times that uh, people just by sensors, uh, the data they have collected and 90% of the data just uh, go down, I mean, go wasted because they didn't use the data well to make their own decision. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, see you next time. Bye.